uh, let's say about a little bit about our background. Uh, so, as you know, Western Balkans is really, uh, I would say, the lowest development part of the Europe. Uh, it is also, we can say that for the local, eco, uh, local ecosystem, uh, compared to the European Union and to North America, we are facing difficult uh, problems, both in uh, economy, uh, democracy, educational systems. And it is, you can translate all this also into the, let's say, work with the accelerators. Uh, based on our previous knowledge and uh, what we learned during the program, accelerators are quite small. Uh, they are really focused on early stage startups. Uh, during, uh, let's say, last seven, eight years, they, we have uh, quite a lot of them, uh, probably in every country from 10 to 20, 30 different types of the accelerators. But really, they are focused on supporting uh, really early stage startups and also learning uh, them basic stuff. Uh, focused on lean startup, lean canvas, assistance in uh, solving some technical problems, sales and marketing stuff. Uh, also, accelerators are quite independent. They are not, 99% um, of them are not part of any network. So they are founded by the local people and also run by the local people and uh, actually uh, serve some kind of the small community in certain area or certain city. And lastly, uh, I would say that uh, they are, I think that's the worst thing, they are really, really founded by the donors. They don't have any uh, developed business model, or at least most of them. And all activities are founded by the donors. Uh, in the last few years, uh, I, I am working as a freelance consultant before Strategy Tools, and I worked, my relations with EBRD are quite strong because I was part of their small uh, medium uh, advisory program. In undeveloped regions uh, in which they are present, they, let's say, funding consulting services for different types of the uh, uh, companies. And this is our, we, from that point of view, last few years, I have relations. And once they launch a Star Venture program in the Balkans, we, we really want to approach them and to see what we and how we can work together uh, on this program. Uh, through this Star Venture program, which is currently running in 10 countries, they really uh, support both startups, uh, selected number of the startups per cohort, and also accelerators. For star startups, they're developing uh, tailor-made programs uh, based on their really needs on the, on the stage of their development and hire experts to, to help them to, to grow their, to scale up their business. For accelerators, they are really working on their uh, capa capacity building. Uh, again, it is uh, uh, until this project, they usually work uh, on the solely basis, so they, they support each accelerator for certain uh, type of the services. But now we, we reach agreement with them that uh, it will be the program for the six countries. Uh, basically, uh, on the beginning of our conversation, uh, we didn't understand them also quite well. And uh, our focus, primarily focus was uh, how we can support their startups. Uh, but during the time, uh, because the, we, we had numerous times of discussions, we understand that uh, it will be much better that we approach them and create the programs for, for accelerators. Because with that, they will create much uh, huger impact on the whole community in the Western Balkans. And from that reason, we, we developed, uh, let's say, a little bit of a hybrid program. We called it Scale Up accelerator coach program due to the fact that we covered uh, two things with that. One small part of the program is uh, really uh, part related to business models of the accelerators, what they're doing, how they are doing to give them idea that they have to develop further. And bigger 
part of the program, let's say 80% of the program is scale up coach program in which we really focus on the scale up strategy of the startups, uh, creation value, exit strategy, but also uh, we, we teach them how to become really scale up coaches, how they have to work with their startups in their portfolio on creation long-term value for them. And basically, uh, basically this is the program. Uh, together with EBRD, uh, we selected 10, uh, 10 accelerators from the region. We run the program uh, for three months. Uh, we closed the program in the 15th of June with a debrief session with EBRD. And also the program was really a combination of the live work sessions, assignments, uh, quite a lot of extensive uh, work with uh, on the, let's say, personal base with participants. And we think that uh, each of the participants uh, spend between 25 and 150 hours for, for working on the program. Uh, as, a, as a, let's say, during the program, all the participants had access to our LMS, uh, direct access to Chris, uh, besides to, to the live workshops, and also uh, uh, direct everyday work uh, with, with me in, in the case of need. Uh, during the program, they really start to thinking about their accelerated strategy because this is quite a huge topic and uh, they were not focused on that previously, most of them. They were working on the different tools, uh, which are part of the Scale Up Coach program, but also they are uh, working on their portfolio of the companies. So the task was that they work on, on three companies, which they choose from their portfolio, and to really apply this knowledge from the program into everyday work with the startups. And this combination, I would say, of theoret theoretical knowledge, uh, live workshops, uh, direct access to, to LMS, I think this is uh, really something which didn't experience uh, before. What we find out that um, some of the participants found it quite uh, demanding, both from the, let's say, uh, time, consuming, but also from the learning point of view, because a uh, program really, um, you know, they have to devote time and energy to, to gain new knowledge and also to be prepared for the, for the live sessions with Chris, because on these live sessions, they have to uh, bring their cases, they have to work on the real life case studies and the materials, and uh, really they have to show up not to just to listen a few hours and then go home to forget everything. Uh, initially, program uh, was designed uh, like, uh, using our methodology. So uh, we, we had fa five phases uh, uh, of the, in which we covered uh, this program. And it's really um, also something a little bit uh, new for, for accelerators and also, but for the EBRD, but I will come to that a uh, little bit later. Bunch of the tools we used like long-term funding map, uh, scale-up map, uh, strategy uh, journey. So it was really mix of mix of mix of experience for the participants. And also uh, what we wanted to do, it's let's say one of the things which we uh, found out that uh, participants which had uh, more seniority uh, they they catch up much quicker than uh, let's say let's a little bit uh, junior people in the uh, from the accelerators. So the people which were at least uh, involved on the creating uh, uh, strategy on the accelerate accelerator level, they they really appreciate much more the program than the junior people. So this is also one of the big learning points for the future for the next cohort. Uh, that we really select uh, senior people from the accelerators, which will be able to to accept this knowledge and uh, this uh, uh, this stuff much much quicker. Yuisa, sorry to interrupt you. What what would you say was the mix between 
Senior people and junior people. I would say that uh, 60% was senior, 40% uh, uh, junior. And uh, uh, really this um, uh, mix was at some stages was very good because uh, uh, it was a great experience for them. But uh, when we work on the accelerator side, they are not simply involved of that. They, they, you know, they, they, they receive the information for granted. They never thought how they, they should develop their business. They just uh, say, we have to deliver programs. Uh, we have to find the money from you. We have to find the money from the local donors. And uh, that was really uh, their focus, delivery of the program to the members of the accelerator, nothing else. And senior people, we were quite more excited due to the fact that uh, they understand that they have to change something. They understand that uh, donors will not be forever in this part of the world. Uh, and that uh, if they don't want to disappear, they have to start to generate much more value than they generate today. So most of them, uh, you know, if I want to be very direct, they don't create value for the startups. They really deliver the programs, but uh, they don't help them on the long-term way. Uh, they support them during the program and a little bit after that, and then that's it. Let's move the new cohort, find new money, run new program. And, uh, you know, very, very, very short-term oriented uh, approach. Because basically they have donors and a little bit of them uh, rent some space, like co-working spaces, and that's it. Uh, no additional services, no part of the bigger ecosystem, no part of the, no really connections with the corporate so really on the let's say very immature market we and um, i i would say that from our point of view and uh, it is great opportunity i would say but from their point of view, point of view it is huge risk that they will be disappeared in the next years just uh, sharing few uh, feedbacks uh, the guy from bosnia uh, which is really deeply involved in the uh, delivering these programs in in their community, he really was not aware that they, he should even think about uh, strategy uh, for the startups, long-term uh, financing. So he was really focused uh, on, on, on lean, nothing else. The other guys, uh, uh, at this point, this guy is running the small venture fund, which is part of the local ICT hub. Uh, at the beginning, uh, he, he was really thinking that uh, it will not bring huge value. At the end, he, is the, he was the guy which is, uh, shows most uh, advanced techniques and mo most things he already applied in his uh, work with, uh, with the startups because he's really running a small venture fund with 15 companies in which they invest. So now he has the system how to, to deliver, to think about longer term, uh, uh, creating a, a longer term value for, for his members. The third guy, which is, uh, I'm really happy to, I don't know, is he on the session now? Uh, he is now uh, our new strategy tools global coach. So I hope that we will run with him in Albania through a pro few projects in the next few months. So uh, he's part uh, of our community. So hopefully Victor will do some cluster work with him in the future also. And for EBRD, uh, they really said that uh, on the debrief call uh, that they, the program exceeds all their expectations because uh, we had a call, debrief call with the headquarter and the, the local team of Western Balkans and the headquarter, it, this is a statement from the headquarter. And uh, with them, we are exploring much more programs uh, for the much wider number of the countries, not only Western Balkans, because really the program is, uh, first of all, Chris is, uh, was great. Uh, second of all, uh, mix of the, theoretical and uh, practical work was uh, something which they didn't expect. And fourth, it was really, how to say, up to date. 
because we worked on the Coinbase, which happened one day before. Uh, mm -hmm. We worked on some different cases, which happened two days before. And, uh, you know, people was, okay, we are delivering a bunch of materials one day before the prior to workshop. Uh, how we will read all this? You have to read it and show up. That's it. So it's, it's good for you. Uh, let's say, uh, uh, because I'm based in Belgrade, uh, I was quite aware about all this, uh, let's say, immature exit system. Um, but I was not aware that people don't have really basic education about some things related especially to capital strategy and business models. Uh, once we have direct conversation, especially in the mentorship sessions, the, the questions came up, like uh, how we should create venture fund, uh, what, uh, how we can uh, create better business models. It was not directly related to the program, but people start to ask people because we open a lot of different potential areas for cooperation with them. And uh, we gave them the answers. Also, they understood much more clear that, uh, you know, donors' money will disappear. Uh, if they don't develop the ecosystem, they will disappear too. And also, we find out that all, even the, the senior people have limited knowledge. Because, again, I'm based here. I expect a little bit of this uh, because we are really... Uh, lagging behind the European Union. Uh, as you know, only a few companies from this area became the unicorns, and uh, it is one from Romania, one from Croatia, I would say. And uh, we had few exits of few hundred millions, but it is really work of the independent people, not uh, of the ecosystem, not uh, work of the government, not uh, work of the wider community. It's really independent people, individual, which developed companies and sell them. For us, there is a bunch of opportunities, uh, both, so, both in direct work with accelerators, but also much, uh, much bigger opportunities to work with the um, EBRD network on uh, different programs, which will be covered for all countries. Uh, we already proposed for them uh, a few different programs and uh, we will have in the next few months uh, conversations with them how we can develop it further. Also, we are looking to, to be part of their Star Venture program, but now to work with, directly with the startups uh, on the strategy. So this is our second goal. And uh, really, uh, we are expanding our influence in the clusters. We expect that we'll sign the first cluster agreement with the Serbian cluster for innovation. And uh, hopefully, we, we really initiate different uh, conversations in Croatia, Albania, and uh, Macedonia related to clusters. So I think that that will be the next step uh, for our, let's say, let's call it business development in this area. You know, because I'm not the expert like you, uh, I'm more sales guy. So uh, uh, in the meantime, I have to learn. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy that uh, I will that's, that's the beauty of having a community like strategy tools. Yep, exactly. Experts like, like Victor. Well, Jubica, that was uh, very interesting. Um, as we said, we're a small crowd, so we can just uh, remain here. If anyone has some questions for Jubica, we can take a couple minutes. If anyone wants to not have a, a break, it's and not a question. I can I say a remark only? Just say something. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Thank you for this presentation. I've started now to catch up with all of you. Uh, you know, like this program, I made something similar. You know what I want? I, I am a strategy consultant for around like 30 years. And the last 10 years, I was working with the armed forces in UAE, in Abu Dhabi, mainly. I thought of building a, a, like, you know, ICDL. You know, ICDL. It's just people that at least they know the least of computer uh, skills. 
that is for everybody. You should know these things. So I wanted to make something like this for strategy. So I made a simple strategy leadership program like uh, the uh, ICDL that every staff should have should really enter this program at least to make sure that they know like you said a little bit of the skills of the uh, strategy planning that includes how to make the strategy how to approach it how to make performance how to make stakeholder so i made this system and i made it leadership development program and it was really success and now i'm in the process of making it part of the school curriculum they should know about the strategy planning. They should know about time management. They should know about the stakeholders. This is part of life. It's not only when you work, you need all these things. It's like ICDL. This is basic. And that's what I'm trying. And I'm learning a lot from you. You are using very nice words now, like startup, accelerators. So I will try to learn more. But you know what I wanted to do? I want to do like a simple program like ICDL that everybody, even before work or graduated from school, they should pass this. I don't want them to wait and go to work and then suddenly know they, they know, or oh, there is something called the strategy. Go and have four year, days of workshop where they are 12 years in the school and four years in the university, they know nothing about it, except if they study it. Uh, actually, you, you can you can uh, uh, you can speak with Chris. We we make uh, due to the fact that TBRD has this uh, small medium advisory program. Uh, we propose to them to to develop a program for uh, advisors for strategy, and it should be a mix of our tools and uh, also LMS with combination with uh, live workshops. So. Uh, if you mix some of our tools from Strategy Tools Global Coaches, speak with Chris, use some of the materials from, uh, I would say, Strategy Tools Global Coaches, but let's say focused one, uh, it can be quite easily done. So, yes. uh, and translate to, to the local, uh, let's say, needs. Right. Yeah, we need this for developing countries more than your countries, because here in this place is a little bit nobody knows. And I want everybody to know that strategy is important for his personal life development, not only for work. It's like learning how to drive a car. You drive it to the work and you drive it to school and you drive it to the university and whatever you can use it. Strategy planning is a tool like a skills. You learn it to enjoy your life, not only to make a good success at work. Well, Joyce is one of our trailblazers in this uh, field. And uh, before we transition to the next, uh, okay. Thank to, you. To the next presentation, uh, Victor is asking if uh, in these live sessions, the different accelerators uh, exchange their experience or it was more of a one-to-one -one interaction? Or, or were no, there? it was a group work all the time. So they, they exchange, uh, there was a, quite a lot of working in the groups, but also directly communication uh, with, uh, with us. Usually uh, Chris was in one or two groups, I was in one or two groups, and then helping them to work out, because uh, also it was quite, uh, quite interesting that uh, it was not common in our area that you do everything online. So... Uh, quite a lot of uh, companies which were do doing education, they literally went broken during last year because people don't want to do uh, live online sessions. Uh, it is a cultural habit uh, and uh, also they were not used to do it. And once we, we get in some kind of the rhythm, it was much, much easier. They, everybody is used to use the Zoom for the meetings but uh, not for, for, for learnings. And also it, is, it was quite interesting, uh, let's say, uh, uh, experience for, for everybody. Uh, they simply didn't expect that they will receive or get uh, real live experience during online workshops. And uh, they got it. So that's, that's one of the really, uh, really good stuff. And uh, this can allow us that we work with them across the globe. For sure. Uh, make sure that you share, if possible, with, with the community, the program that you designed. Victor was asking for it. It will be- Yeah, we'll send it. Yeah, sure. Victor, you have any questions? 
No, no, I'm, I'm uh, very, very interesting, uh, interesting program uh, design. And I, I think that's also something that um, other people can use. So, so please indeed share, share yep. what, what for you was a solution because other, other, other people can, can, can also uh, look at, at the model and, and think, okay, how can I apply this for myself? And is there something, um, and then you get discussion going, okay, why did you decide to, to take these steps, et cetera, et cetera. And you can help each other out in, in developing these, these uh, programs because, um, uh, does that you know that uh, for this, Chris also developed one part of the LMS, which is not part of the scale up. This is the part related to uh, ecosystem. And uh, uh, so it is also not part of the scale up coach uh, online program. Okay. So this part for sure can be expanded in the case that uh, we received uh, some additional work to really work on the business models with accelerators. And uh, it can be also probably used in a lot of different areas. So I found it uh, that the uh, program was 100% designed for them. So uh, from that reason that uh, I think that, uh, that it was a success. Great. Thank you so much, Ubisoft. Thank you, guys. Applause.